Welcome to the Daily Review. This is Federer Zach, Senior Trading Strategist here at CM Trading. And today is May 6, 2024, and today is Monday morning. So looking at the highlights of the day, the U.S. markets push even higher after the NFP report. The question is whether or not this is a dead cap bounce, which means that we're going to head back down to our lows, or this is going to be a correction. We're finding just a new area for us to range in. But first, no major economic events scheduled for today. So as we look at the various markets, starting out with the foreign symbols, the major pair is pretty much unchanged and taper off while we're looking at the indices, both the Dow Jones and the NASDAQ did rally. Looking at commodities, gold bouncing off of support, that 2300 white oil just pretty much unchanged and on its low. Now looking at the stocks, NVIDIA and Apple continue to rally higher. And lastly, looking at cryptocurrencies, Bitcoin recovering above 64K. So let's take a look at the markets and see what we can expect from today's trading. So here we go. First with the EURUSD, and you can see it's pretty much tapering off below its 107. No big deal, okay? Most of the pairs are doing that. However, I do want to highlight this one thing from the Australian dollar, where it seems like it's hitting its resistance -ish level. Once it's hitting its resistance -ish level, this may be a telling sign whether or not we're going to correct itself around this area. So this is actually my leading indicator right here with the forex symbols. And if I jump into the Japanese yen, we have pretty much come off of our highs and we're just off of it okay we're looking at a daily chart this may be a decent bounce okay but it all the forex symbols are not trading in tandem okay they're all trading all over the place i mean euro is a little bit stronger and it's down the gbp is just off of its highs okay the australian dollar as we just saw is on its resistance this level so with that said you have to really pick them if you're going to pick them okay it's a little bit harder to trade so there might not be just an instant trade out there but the Australian dollar is your best bet because it is on resistance -ish level. This 166.23 is really important. Now jumping into commodities, let's take a look at gold. Gold jumping off that 2300 or just shy of that 20, 2290. Okay, so we are consolidating in this area. Now it does look like we're setting up a, the wedge formation, which we mentioned last Friday, and we're playing by the rule book of it. Okay, so keep an eye on this, all right, because at one point, it's either going to break on the downside or the upside, and that's something to look forward to. Now, looking at crude oil, we're at our low, $78.76, just off of our low of $78.80. We're really not recovering here. Jumping into the U.S. markets, this is where it's at. We're first looking at a daily, okay? We recovered a tremendous amount, 37800 to 38800 That's a 1,000 points jump, okay? However, keep in mind that we did sell off close to 3,000 points off of the Dow Jones, close to, okay, somewhere like 2,700, and now we've bounced 1,000 points, so that's almost 50%. 50% would be closer to the 39,000, okay, so keep that in mind. If the stocks are not going to make new highs, this is where we're going to be consolidating through, okay, through, through the next cycle. Now... Kind of everything is taken into account. We had FOMC. We had the corporate earnings for major stocks. NVIDIA still has to come out. So everything is really behind us for now. And we had NFP. So everything is really behind us. So what's the telling sign in the next couple of days to see which way we're going and which way we're heading because it's going to be a very telling sign. I'm jumping into the NASDAQ. Also got a bounce. And did a break above this 30-day moving average. I want to see that it could hold above it. Okay, same story. Now jumping into the individual stocks. Let's take a look at the stocks that really moved higher. Apple, okay, had a huge gap up, 183. Question is whether it's going to be sustaining itself, whether it's going to hold itself at 183. Because this is 20 points. That's huge. Okay, that's a big trade right there. All right, and jumping into NVIDIA. Let's jump into it. Oops, there we go. Let's maximize it. We're back there. Now, NVIDIA did recover, 885. It's still off almost 70 points off of its highs, okay? And it still has earning reports coming out. So we're at the top of the range here. So I really want to see if it's going to continue going higher. This is really very important as well. Now, the other one was Microsoft, who did recover tremendously. But my question is whether this is short covering or whether this is buying. And I won't know that just in hindsight. So I've got to be very careful at these levels, you know, to see if that selling pressure is going to continue or we're going to, you know, or that buying is going to continue or we're going to see selling pressure all of a sudden 
resurface itself. Okay, so that's my two next things to look at. Now, lastly, looking at JP Morgan, we filled in the in we filled in the gap and now we're selling off. Okay, so this is not positive. This may mean that we're going to continue selling off even lower. So keep an eye on this also. Now, lastly, let's take a look at Bitcoin. Bitcoin had a beautiful V formation. Okay, I call it mini trends. Okay, these mini trends happen often. Now it did recover and it's trading together with the rest of the markets, but it's still below its 30 day moving average. So keep an eye on it as well. Okay, because if it does break above it, then we may go back to our 72 level as well. All right, that's also promising for us. So lots of things to still just keep in mind. Today's a Monday, so we got to see how things develop. This is Fed Zach. I want to wish you guys a great trading day. Thank you.